opinion. Project 2025 is coming for our kids too, across the country. Some Republican officials are looking for ways to usher underage workers into potentially dangerous jobs like factory work, including having them take late night shifts. The playbook known as 2025, Project 2025, goes so far as to propose that the Department of Labor roll back regulations restricting underage workers from taking regulated jobs in dangerous fields. The authors of Project 2025 say that in an incoming Republican administration, the Department of Labor should amend its hazard order regulations to permit teenage workers access to work in regulated jobs with proper training and parental consent. In short, these revisions would allow teens to work in hazardous jobs. Research shows that working adult jobs can cause serious health issues for children and impede their education. Iowa is the most extreme example of a state increasing the hours in which minors are allowed to work. 14-year-olds in the Hawkeye State now perform assembly work in factories and meatpacking facilities as part of training programs. Meanwhile, in Arkansas, the age verification requirements have been removed for hiring children. Florida has proposed laws allowing 16 and 17 year olds to work longer hours on school nights, as recent cases around the country have shown. Working late while in high school can lead to lost sleep missed school days, and students falling behind on their schoolwork. In fact, according to the left-leading Economic Policy Institute, since 2021, 31 states have introduced legislation to weaken existing child labor laws, and nearly half of those have successfully passed them. These laws include provisions that would extend the number of hours minors can work, lift restrictions on children doing hazardous work, eliminate parental permission, and even allow underage children to serve alcohol. It should go without saying that children don't belong in dangerous factories or working overnight shifts. They deserve to be safe and protected, including when they become old enough to legally work, instead of exploiting the labor of minors to appease business interests. Policymakers should look at the way, look at the ways responsible leaders are making sound choices to develop and expand the pool of trained workers. Now, I don't know why CNN included this. They're going to eliminate parental permissions. Project 2025 authors actually said this. The Department of Labor should amend its hazard regulation, hazard order regulation, regulations to permit teenage workers access to work in regulated jobs with prior training and parental consent. Okay, so if Project 2025 passes, I see one of two scenarios happening. Those underage children or young teens who wish to work in a factory or wherever. I mean, maybe even three scenarios. If an underage child slash young teen wants to work in a factory for a long period of hours, scenario number one would be school would have to be pushed back a, a couple hours at least so the students can get a proper amount of sleep. The second scenario, which is unlikely, that would be eliminate school entirely. Because the reason you get a degree in the first place is that so you can work your way into the workforce. Make your way into the workforce. With your diploma highlighting your achievements from an educational standpoint. Or scenario number three. We have underage kids slash young teens working with hazardous materials. Depending on the hours of said factory or whatever building the hypothetical teen slash underage kid is working at. Depending on the hours, night school may be the best option. Whatever the scenario is, we can maneuver around it. Research shows that working adult jobs can cause serious health issues for children. Like I said before, this is from CNN. Some proposals by legislators have even come in direct response to lobbying by industries like restaurants and hospitality as more employers report difficulties finding workers in a booming economy. We can agree 
agree to disagree about the Biden administration's economy booming, even if that's the case. Again, the number of people leaving the workforce has to be replaced with the next generation, and birth rates are at an all-time low. So it doesn't matter if the economy is booming or not. If we don't have the people, we can't fill all these positions of every field possible unless we hire foreign workers, which we're trying to not do. We're trying to increase the number of American workers. So when Republicans want underage kids, young teens to be trained, they want them to be trained to be able to use hazardous, uh, not use hazardous, they should be able to be trained to deal with hazardous materials and work with meat packing plants and be trained to work in meat packing facilities. When Democrats want a child slash young teen to be trained, it's usually for social training to become transgender or to dance in an adult strip club. In the case of Desmond is Amazing. We've recently seen the dangers of children illegally performing hazardous work around the country, in some instances leading to their death at sawmills and slaughterhouses, while others have lost their lives working with industrial equipment. 14, 16, and 17. Those are the particular ages which CNN has a problem with working. They could possibly lose their lives operating machinery. But the 15-year-old girl who got the double mastectomy and is most likely suicidal now, what about that? These underage children slash young teens are most likely supervised, watched over, when they start the training for the regulated job. If you're working in a warehouse or factory, most likely you're going to have a supervisor who watches over you to make sure you're doing everything correctly. Alright, so I just looked up on Google Project 2025 bullet points. This is from BBC. The document calls for the sacking of thousands of civil servants, expanding the power of the president dismantling the Department of Education, sweeping tax cuts, a ban on pornography, halting sales of the abortion pill, civil servants like the armed IRS agents who unfairly target conservatives. How does it go? Speaker of the House, Vice President, then President. So that means expanding the power of the president shouldn't be in there because the president is the highest up in authority. He should have the final say. Tax cuts are really good for obvious reasons. More money in our pockets and a ban on porn. That's fine. I work my job. I do my YouTube, my spare time. If porn is banned, whatever. They didn't really say it on BBC, but I think part of Project 2025 is enacting the world's largest deportation operation in human history. And J.D. Vance, he's going to war against the idea of women not having to have children. And he's going to... And he's going to propose a bill in order to make a hospital visit where the baby gets delivered. He wants to make that process free. Project 2025, it just makes sense. Tax cuts, going to save us money. You go to the hospital, about to have a baby, that's free, that's going to save you money too. If you're able to have more children, well, that's more children who are going to be able to be trained to work in all types of fields. Halting the sales of the abortion pill also means more children and a ban on porn that would incentivize more young people not necessarily hook up with each other but come together in a relationship and eventually get married and have children instead of just wanking it to porn because you're bored or whatever the reason is project 2025 will save america project 2025 will make america great again